The building blocks of life are back, and this time they're life-size. Sculptor Nathan Sawaya's new exhibition in New York, The Art of the Brick, features more than 100 Lego statues, many made up of more than 12,000 individual pieces. I've worked with many different types of art medium over the year, but I just thought about this toy from my childhood and thought, could I create large-scale sculptures using just Lego bricks? And the reaction has been fantastic. It makes the art accessible so that kids and families see the art. They can relate to it because we've all played with Lego bricks at some point in our lives. Invented in 1958, this is the latest example of Lego being used in ways the company may never have envisaged. Others include the vet who adapted Lego wheels to mobilize obese tortoises and the Canadian students who sent a Lego man into space. Maybe you'll go home after seeing an exhibition like this and create a little art for yourself because I think that's important. Art is important in all of our lives. Solid interpretations of Munch's The Scream and Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring might wow art critics, but out on the street, the popularity of Lego's new Star Wars and Marvel superhero series mean the company is one of the few defying the downturn. As the world economy continues to spin and the all-too-real construction industry struggles on, the Lego Group has reported profits and sales up 25%.